So it's a few days before the Fjallraven Classic in Germany and I thought I'd um, do one more small video which is just on my first aid kit. I've promised you guys um, to do a little bit of that. It's just going to show what I'm taking and why I'm taking it. Um, this video is not going to be edited that well because I don't have my laptop with me, I don't have any of my editing gear etc. So I'm just going to take it probably straight out of my Osmo Action and just post it onto YouTube. But I hope it's uh, useful for you and I hope it gives you a bit of insight. And if you guys have any suggestions for me, please do give that back on the comments down there. And I'll try and uh, take those in when I go to the Sweden trek. So I'm at a friend's house in the Netherlands before I go. This is my first aid pack. I've kind of put it in a um, in a little bag and uh, written first aid on it so I can pick it out e really easily from my a backpack. Let me show you what's inside. Apologies for the quality of the video. But let's see what I can do this in a way that you can see it. So let me get everything out first and then I'll go through it one by one. Right, so let's see. This is everything that I have and I have, let's take it on this side, I have two sets of compression bandages. One is a big a bigger one, one is a smaller one, and that's because my knees play up and I found last year on the Sweden trek that adding a compression bandage to my knee actually um, makes it a little better and a little easier for me to walk in combination with um, some ibuprofen. So with that said, I have here somewhere a pack of ibuprofen and I might want to get some more. These are 400 mil ibuprofens you can buy in the Netherlands and uh, I think I'll take one more pack with me so I need to go to the supermarket and get one more pack. I've got um, a pack of paracetamol just in case I need that as well and as an emergency backup. Oh actually I have some more ibuprofen so I don't need to buy some more. Okay so that's my painkillers basically and stuff if I get a fever. I also have here in this pack um, a um, set or a few bags I think there's like seven or eight here of um, um, isotonic um, rehydration salts, sorry. rehydration salts, and those are also available at most pharmacies. And there's uh, about six, seven packets there, and I can use those in water, add them in case I get diarrhea or in case I'm dehydrated. This I take with me, and sometimes I just add a packet to the water because it tastes a little bit better. This particular one has um, citron flavor, and again, I've bought these from the Netherlands uh, because for me it's just easier to get them there. Here I have a pack of Imodium, which I take with me normally just for an emergency in case I get a dodgy tummy, and that just helps me to set things up there. Um, I've also got here a little bit of betadine, which helps me to put, um, sorry, it doesn't help me, but in case I get a cut or some something, this is just like an antiseptic. It helps to, uh, to heal it and keeps it um, from getting infected more. This is some extra paracetamol, which I don't need to take. Now, these are lifesavers, which is Compede. These are um, the blister, um, pads and they help me to actually make sure that when I get blisters on my feet that they're padded and that they don't get worse. This saved my life actually in the Sweden trek. Um, I had a blister on my large toe here and I put one of the large bl blister pads there and they really 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 helped. Uh, they, come in a, they come in a few packs um, and I just kind of put everything into one pack so that I don't have to carry around uh, a bigger one but this one for example contains two of these heel pads two of the ones for the side of the toe and two smaller and two smaller ones for the little toes or one smaller one for the little toes I bought a few packs of these and I just repacked them into this plastic container here so I have quite a few of those I think I bought four packs of these and I just squashed them into there then the other thing that I have here is a emergency blanket and this is uh, for emergencies, of course, but in case I need it or somebody that I'm traveling with or one of the other teams need it, I've just uh, bought this. I put this in with my first aid kit, and I think that's useful. Uh, I have some gauze. 
which is for um, wounds in case I need to dress a wound and a pair of scissors to cut that with and some gauze tape or some tape to tape up uh, the gauze or any wounds etc etc so that's uh, and the scissors again to just cut that up with um, here I have extra uh, elastic uh, connections for the compression bandages just in case one breaks or I need more to, to hold them together um, these are extra hydration salts which I probably won't take with me here I've got a bunch of different size band-aids um, small medium large and let me just open this pack just a second inside here as well besides the band-aids but you can see just various I don't know whether you can see through the pack just various sizes um, these are like extra small ones these are like little circular ones um, I have a bunch of just normal band-aids which uh, are different sizes there and these are like little I don't know whether you can actually see these through the packaging they're like little suture um, let me hold them up they're like little suture band-aids which uh, if you have a cut or something you can just kind of put it across the cut to hold the cut together so they work a little bit like sutures um, but they just pull a cut together and you 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 um, uh, tape them across yep. so I've got a few packets of those and then last but not least I've got some cotton buds just in case I need to clean out some wound or I need them for something I take some cotton buds with me and this is my hay fever tablets loratadine because it's may and i tend to get hay fever in may and june so just in case uh, it gets really bad i've got a pack of hay fever tablets so that comprises my entire first aid pack um i generally take that with me in this bag as i said compress it down put it in my backpack and it's there for when i need it um to stop actually what I want to actually go through with you a little bit more maybe is this blisters to stop my blisters on my feet what I found worked really well last time when I went on the Fjallraven classic uh, trek in Sweden was that instead of just wearing one pair of thick woolen socks um, and then putting on my boots I put a thin pair of merino wool socks underneath and then on top of that I put my thick pair of woolen socks and what I found was that when I did that, the rubbing happened mostly sock on sock and not on the um, foot itself. So I had very little blisters. And this was a, a tip I picked up um, from some YouTube video somewhere. And then I found a pack of smart wool um, hiking um, socks, which were packed in exactly that, a thin pair of socks and a thick pair of socks. And it was a hiking system, which they had um, uh, put together in this pack to sell so I've got a couple of pairs of those so I've got like two pairs of thin wool socks and one pair of, or a couple of pairs of uh, thick wool socks for this four day trek so I hope that uh, helped uh, and I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into what I'm doing this time if you guys have any suggestions or anything you think I'm missing for next time please let me know because I'd love to improve my uh, first aid pack and see uh, if I'm missing anything or if you think there's anything here that's superfluous or have any views that would be really great too thanks again for watching and I hope this has been useful